welcome back to my channel. This video, I have been procrastinating on making this because I have this weird thing, you guys, when it comes to favorites. I feel like if I forget something, then I'm gonna like feel like I let you guys down, or I don't know, I feel like favorites is like me telling you guys like, these are the products, like if I was about to die, like you would have to pry these out of my cold dead hands. I feel like it's a lot of pressure, but it's like made up pressure that I put on myself because it's not that serious. These are just my favorites. If you didn't like these products, that's okay. If you love these products, hey great, we're on the same page. So I did try to go through and pick some out. Of course, my largest category is eyeshadow palettes. This dog, I tell you. Oh my god, Teddy, you're literally interrupting my favorites video. This is like really important. Come here, come on. Okay, so he just got a haircut and he does this thing when I try to pick him up, he like lays down because they cut his hair really short. And I think he's a little bit sensitive on the bottom part of his body. So anyway, dog updates. Are you done? Okay, so anyway, biggest care category is eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna save it up to the end so I can breeze through some of my other stuff. So let's talk about some of my favorite face products of 2018. I kicked the year off trying out this Natasha Denona Duo Glow. I believe, okay, that was rude. Oh. I believe this is currently on sale on Sephora's website. If you guys are able to pick it up, I would recommend. This is the Natasha Denona Duo Glow in the shade Alba. I don't know if this actually came out in 2018, but I picked it up in January of 2018. And it is such a stunning blush on me. If you are darker than me too, I think this would look gorgeous on you. It's kind of a blush highlighter combo deal and I love it so much. There's not not a whole lot more I can tell you guys about that product other than it's amazing. The next face product is this blush and this is the Kevin Aquan Neo Blush in the shade Sunset. I've talked this bronzer to death. I feel like you guys all know I love it. It's beautiful. I literally think this is such a great summer blush. I think it's great for the winter because it looks like you've been outside and it gives you that like coral you know, look and since the Pantone color is coral for 2019, this could be an awesome blush if you guys are interested in doing any looks for the Pantone color of the year as well. The next thing I wanna talk about is a highlighter. I feel like everyone has put this in their 2018 favorites and it is for good reason. Now, Amrezy, I used to follow on Snapchat She's not really my vibe. She's very like bougie and like her style is like very porn star. I hope I don't get crucified for saying that. I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just not me. So she's very like over the top and very glamorous. And when I first saw this highlighter announced, I'm like, there's no way this is gonna work on my skin tone. It looks so light. And I know I have this highlighter a million times over, but I am such a little, you know, I fall for the hype. And so I bought it and I'm so glad I did. It's beautiful. I think the magic in this highlighter is that this tone just works so beautifully with many, many different skin tones. I've seen this look gorgeous on light skin tones. This looks beautiful on deep skin tones. This looks good on my skin tone. Ain't nothing wrong with a palette or a shade that can work for everyone. The packaging is beautiful and they did relaunch this so if you want it, you might want to buy it because I don't know once it's gone if they will bring it back. 99 problems. Okay, this is the other highlighter I am loving this year. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This again I saw in so many people's videos and I am trying so hard not to buy highlighters. So in 2019, my goal is to just be on like a highlighter no buy. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes. But this 
palette I think has everything you need. This shade is definitely too dark for me as a highlighter. I might be able to wear it as a bronzer. I don't know. But all three of these shades are so fun. And the thing is, Dior does have some single highlighters. I think they're like $40 to $50. And this whole palette was $45 plus I got it during the Sephora sale. So I really like it. It has a baked gelée formula and it's just so buttery and pigmented and gorgeous, gorgeous highlighters. So Definitely recommend that. And then the last face product is this guy by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm sure you guys all know what this is. This is her Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2. I don't think this came out this year, but I got to try it this year. And so many beauty gurus rave about this, and it is for a good reason. 2018 was definitely the year of pressed powders and loose setting powders. Everyone came out with one. Hourglass, Wet n Wild. I mean, I literally, the color pop, like the list is freaking endless. So I had gone through so many powders and once I got to this one, I was so happy. This product actually picks up on my brush and it does set my face. There's actually a nice little dent in there, which I'm so pumped about because usually pressed powders for me are really not that exciting, but I do love that one a lot and I love the look it gives me. So very, very impressed by that powder. I have other things like mascaras and stuff, but nothing really stood out. I still use kind of the same old, same old stuff. My favorite mascara, if I had to pick one, would probably be the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Nothing else really comes to mind. I'm definitely like a drugstore girl when it comes to mascaras. I don't try to spend a lot of money on stuff like that. There wasn't really a foundation in 2018 that blew me away. Nothing really concealer-wise e either. I think my favorite concealer right now is still the Soft matte cream found like concealer from NARS so none of that has changed but I do have some new lippies that I want to talk to you guys about so one of my new favorite things that I discovered in 2018 is the Pat McGrath lip gloss formula now I'm definitely not a glossy lip girl but these ones I do love so much I have two shades I have Flesh 4 and Flesh Fantasy and these are so gorgeous I love Flesh Fantasy because it's just like a nice nudie pink and then when I want like a more nudie brown tone lip gloss this is oh god Teddy <laughs> when I want a more brown tone nude lip gloss this is perfect and it's not too sticky it makes my lips look nice and juicy and wet and plump and I love them so so much so very excited um, I really like these two shades they have a lot of other shades but nothing really caught my attention and then the other lip formula from Pat McGrath that I am obsessed with is this guy and these are the Pat McGrath Lip Fetish Sheer Color Bombs. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. They're 38 bucks a piece. I actually have the clear one as well. But I wanted to buy some of the ones with the tint because I live in Fargo. It's a very cold place and it's so nice when I can get a bomb as well as a lip color and actually have it be a good formula. A lot of things like this that I've tried end up being pretty drying, but not this formula. This formula is amazing. Again, this is the shade Flesh 3. Everything Flesh on the Pat McGrath website, I have bought. So I have the matte lipstick in the flesh tone and then this is the gloss in the flesh tone and then this is Love Supreme which is a beautiful like pinky nude so just a great everyday pinky mauve I should say actually uh, beautiful so these stay they live in my purse actually and they pair great together so I'll do flesh um, lip balm and then the flesh gloss and then these two together as well just work beautifully these again live in my purse Definitely recommend, definitely a splurge. I'm literally holding like $150 worth of lipstick in my hand, which is literally kind of terrifying to say out loud, but that's how much I love both of those formulas. The next thing I want to talk about is my new favorite liquid lipstick formula that I discovered in 2018. 
These are two shades by Morphe, and honestly, you guys know I am not a big Morphe fan, but I can give credit where credit is due, and I really love these two colors, especially. I bought a few more shades from them, but these two I can wear all the time. True Story and Peanut were the two original shades I purchased, and they are beautiful nudes. I'm wearing True Story right now. Just works so well with my skin tone. It is so hard for me to find nudes that aren't pinky. I like more like neutral brown shades for nude tones and these are so gorgeous. So I love, love, love so much. I have a swatch video of these. I will try and remember to link it, otherwise you can search it on my channel, but they are so nice and I love them so much. And then I wanna shout out this lipstick, which I love this formula so much. Jeffree Star, this is from his holiday collection and this is the only shade I picked up from his holiday collection called Karma. You guys went nuts when I wore this shade on my channel. It is an olive green lipstick. It's so not me or like what you typically expect from me, but that's what I love about it. The formula is comfortable. The shade honestly looks like I could pull it off in my opinion. And it's just a little bit different and I love it and the packaging is gorgeous as well. So that is definitely another knockout from Jeffree Star. I do love his liquid lipstick formula as well as eyeshadow palettes, but I wanted to mention Karma in case you guys wanted to like step out of your comfort zone in 2019. So that's everything as far as face and lips. And now we are on to my eyeshadow pile. I, um, <laughs> I like a lot of eyeshadow, you guys know that about me. And I feel like I managed to narrow it down. I have started a drawer now in my makeup collection of like my top shelf eyeshadow palettes. And that's what we're gonna talk about. So if you haven't grabbed a snack already, you better go get one. First one, I mean, is anybody surprised? I have to talk about the Pat McGrath Bronze Temptations palette. This is stunning, stunning palette. I enjoy wearing this so much. I love Pat McGrath's formula so much. People ask me all the time, like, why I like Pat McGrath, and I just do. I think her shades are so well thought out, buttery, blah, blah, blah. Each palette can hold its own. You don't need to dip into other palettes to create looks with this guy, and I just love it. I love it so much. It's so inspiring. It's so fun to look at. You know, when I think of all the basic neutral palettes out there, this is a standout. The Special shades are gorgeous. I know some people complain about fallout. I don't get any fallout from this palette I do use glitter glue the Too Faced glitter glue with the special shades But otherwise I have no problems with this palette. No complaints. This is one of my top shelf palettes I love Pat McGrath's tin pan eyeshadow palettes. I actually have I moved them out of the drawer and now I have all four of the other ones sitting up here so I can grab for them more because one of my goals in 2019 is to definitely do more videos with the Pat McGrath palettes I already own. The next palette that really got me this year is the I Love Zara EX Dose of Colors collab. I, I have hated the Dose of Colors formula for so long so I'm glad they did this palette. I love the mattes in this and the shimmers are so gorgeous and I'm so glad Stephanie Nicole reviewed this collection and told me that the shimmers were nothing like the shimmers from Desi X Katie Round 1 because that eyeshadow palette was a disaster and I sent it back to Dose because I hated it and I didn't want to spend money on it after I tried it. So. Super duper happy that they did whatever this formula is. I love this packaging. This was such a cute collab. And yeah, I'm so happy I have this little palette. It's one of my favorites from 2018. And then while we're on the dose train, I do have to give the Frenication palette a shout out as well. Here is another, you guys are gonna see a few chartreuse shades in this video. This shade, Dirty Money, I wore it in a video. So many of you guys asked me what shade I had on, and it was this one, Dirty Money by Desi and Katie. The shimmers are so beautiful. The mattes are so basic and easy. This could easily be a travel palette, especially if you're going traveling somewhere exotic or like you're going on like a more luxurious vacation. I could easily see myself taking this to Paris and doing like day looks and night looks, you know, for something more elegant. But yeah, this is such a great palette. Dose of Colors really knocked my socks off in 2018. I really hope they do more face stuff. They have decent liquid lipsticks. I'd love to see them do like a blush palette or like blush collection. I think that would be really fun. 
Okay, my next favorite palette again is another one from Pat McGrath. This is the palette I thought I would like the least from her mini palettes that she launched for holiday, but this is the one I like the most. I believe this is called the Bronze Seduction Palette, and this is what the shades look like. This is one of those really basic, everyday kind of palettes, and I think like if you saw this, you wouldn't really be that excited about it, but I love how her formula works. Her shimmers in this are excellent. I honestly kind of want to depop these like Georgia Harris did in her video, um, just because I do feel like I'd get more use out of it if it was in just like a Z palette instead of that packaging. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really depot a whole lot, but I think that was such a stellar video that Georgia did where she depotted them, um, and she kind of made them look like they were pretty easy to get out. So I might do that in 2019. We'll see how it goes. The next palette I want to talk about is, of course, the ColourPop Good Sport palette. Everyone has, again, been mentioning this guy. And again, another one of those palettes with the beautiful chartreuse. This is the shade EBB. Love it so much. I just love these colors. Oh, I love it. I love the mustard. Love the chartreuse. Love this deep red shade. The purples are gorgeous. This shade Rookie is like a beautiful duochrome with a bunch of purple shimmer. It's just a really good affordable palette. Definitely my favorite one from ColourPop this last year. The next palette I want to talk about, this is kind of a funny one. I had a very interesting experience with Melt in 2018. Previously I did own a Melt stack and I hated the Melt stack. I sold it on my Poshmark and then I bought the 27 palette because everyone was hyping up their palettes and I was like, fine, I'll buy the 27 palette. And I literally had the palette like shatter when I opened it. Then they sent me another one. It broke again. They were going to send me another one. I was like, melt. I can't do this anymore. I sent it back. They gave my money back. We were done. We were broken up. We were never getting back together. And then I saw the Smoke Sessions palette and I don't condone like marijuana usage or anything. That's not why I bought this palette. I don't smoke weed. I just love greens so, so much. And this is honestly one of the most beautiful palettes I had ever seen. It's so gorgeous. And it's honestly idiot proof too because there's two matte shades. So you throw this one in the crease or you throw this one in the crease. And then I feel like these three shades pair well with this matte, and these three shades wear, pair well with this green matte. So this is honestly, oh my gosh, if I could say like my all-time favorite of 2018, I think it's going to be this one because the shades are so soft and buttery, and oh my god, it's such a beautiful palette. So, so happy Melt did that in 2018. Next favorite of 2018 is the Huda New Nudes palette. Huda is killing it. When I first saw this palette, I was like, there's no way those shades are going to show up on my skin tone. They could have definitely put in a few more deeper shades, but the standout in this palette are these glitter shades. And I think the texture of them initially will scare people. And it was really nerve wracking to, you know, try and figure out what these shades were like. But honestly, once you swatch them or you use a brush with them, they're incredibly smooth. So you don't have to worry about getting like chunks of glitter in your eyes or anything like that. This is such a great everyday palette. I can do glam looks with this. I can do looks for nights out. I think makeup artists would love this for bridal or bridesmaids looks. Such a wonderful palette. So happy I bought it. Definitely kind of like a neutral palette, but so, so fun either way. Now this one is limited edition and I don't think you can get this anymore, but this is my favorite palette from Gimme Glow this year. They launched three new palettes. They did Summer Vibes, the Grunge palette, and this one. And I love this palette so, so much. The formula is insane. Such huge pan sizes. I've already talked to you guys' ears off about how much I love this palette, but it is so good and delicious and they're coming out with two new palettes already announced this year and my little heart cannot wait to see those palettes. Now the next palette I'm going to talk about, I never thought I would live to see the day where I talked about a Natasha Denona palette in a favorites video, but this freaking palette is so good. So she did a bunch of new palettes this year as well. She did the Tropic palette, the Safari palette. I think, was this the year that the Sunset and the Leela became permanent? I don't really know, but oh my god, this palette is so good. When I first saw it, I was like, really? Like, that looks like, no, no, I have all those shades, blah, blah, blah. 
but I bought it and I freaking love this palette. Again, I want to do some looks with this palette. I'm sure the whole internet and the whole world has moved on from this palette, but I don't care. It was a freaking expensive palette, so you're going to sit there and enjoy every single video I make about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. That was a joke. Okay, are you ready to see my last favorite palette of 2018? I'll give you a second to guess. Okay, are you done guessing? Drum roll, please! Okay, my favorite palette of 2018 is... Ta-da! The Juvia's Place Tri Palette. Oh my god, oh my god. I love this palette so much. I think this was such a great, smart release for Juvia's Place. I was getting a little worried about them because they do come out with a lot of palettes. Some of those shade ranges are like very much like, okay, let's throw a berry and let's throw a blue in, let's throw a random transition shade and it'll all work out. Luckily, they have a decent price point, but this palette, oh, it's so good. It blends so well. The shimmers are great. This is my favorite Juvia's Place palette of all time. And I honestly hope they stick to this kind of theme with the, you know, monochromatic looks and maybe do, I would love to see them do a blue palette like this, definitely like purples, reds, kind of like the Huda Obsessions idea, but you know, in Juvia's Place's flair. So I love this palette. If you have been thinking about buying this, I would honestly recommend it. Obviously, I understand green isn't everyone's cup of tea, but it's really been creeping into the makeup industry at the end of 2018. I feel like all the palettes had green in them, and I am so thankful because green is one of my favorite colors. And so that is everything for my 2018 favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm not a favorites kind of person, you guys. It gives me a lot of anxiety to pick like my favorites because People, you know, get really excited about favorites and uh, I buy a lot of makeup so narrowing it down is difficult for me. Definitely one of my channel goals to keep better track of what I buy in 2019 but I'm already excited to see what the year has in store for us makeup wise. I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below because I love talking to you guys. And I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye!